a Garp Roger and Rox alliance. Dragon is the son of Rox. Luffy's mother was called Orange Dragon. If you want to know more, watch this mega theory. Hello, Alactan here. When we think about manga theories the record is held by One Piece. It has a really creative and very active community on social networks. In recent years Reddit has become the place where many theory lovers gather to discuss. While wandering the subreddits I came across a really interesting and plausible theory that would explain many unsolved mysteries in the manga. The theory belongs to this user who called it the theory of the monkey clan. Now prepare yourself chill and listen. The theory works like this. Part 1. The Rocks Garp Roger Alliance Garp Rocks and Roger were crewmates, maybe even brothers, the original monster trio. It seems. It said a picture is worth a thousand words. So what does this tell you? Singoku is pretty standard. He was well educated and strict he was a top earner top of his class. Garp is just like Luffy so from here let's just think of Garp as Luffy and what Luffy would do. Since Luffy wanted to be a pirate, then Garp likely did as well and didn't become a marine till he was 22 years old. In Goa you are a man when you're 17, Kobe became a marine at 16, so the least minimum is Garp would have been eligible to join the marines at 16 or 17. So what was he doing between then? Luffy couldn't wait to be a pirate he would have left sooner if him and Ace didn't make a deal to leave before they turned 17. Luffy isn't one for sitting around or having a steady job in the village, he has a drive for adventure and chaos, so I would imagine Garp was the same, so for this I can't see him as some storekeeper or fisherman. In his youth he would be running around causing trouble. Now did you know Oda said if Luffy was real? He would be Brazilian Goa Kingdom is also based off of a colony owned by Brazil. So Garp is also Brazilian, back in the day there was a pirate named Roche Brasiliano, who was infamous even as a pirate. He would kill people who didn't play card games with him. He would cut off limbs of people and burn villages down. The guy was a monster, then one day he vanished. No one knows what happened to him he just vanished. Just like Rox, when translated, his name is Rock the Brazilian or Rox is Brazilian. So I think that Rox is from Goa Garp in his youth. Met Rox, and they became brothers, and as a sign of dedication, Garp and Rox stabbed themselves in the face to prove their manhood. Did you know in Romance Dawn the manga off by Oda that precedes One Piece Garp was the pirate who gave Luffy the hat. But why did he pick Garp? Garp left Goa with Rox and went around the East Blue and met Roger. The first believe Roger was 21 when he met Rayleigh, which is also late. I say Garp Rox and Roger became friends and traveled the East Blue and maybe other seas. Garp and Roger were like Zoro and Sanji and would always butt heads constantly fighting one another, constantly nearly killing one another. Then Rox would come in and beat the hell out of both of them. They were also Luffy Ace and Sabo. Garp was the Luffy the fun loving stupid guy. Roger was like Ace. The hot-headed tough guy who loved a good fight Rox was like Sabo, the calm smart one who had the plans. They sailed around and built a reputation, but a few years and Rox started to become more extreme. Roger and Garp noticed and started to worry. The one day Rox did the unforgivable. Maybe he killed a crew mate they acquired, or maybe he killed a civilian over something stupid but he did something that broke the crew up. Garp went back to their home base which was Goa and gave up on being a pirate. That's when he met Kong. Kong is either Garp's father's, Garp's brother or cousin. His name is Monkey Kong. Without D Kong was a marine hero like Garp is today. And he was able to get a pardon for Garp and to have his record as a pirate removed. As long as Garp became a marine, Garp wanting to repay for his crimes for aligning with Rox, went on to become a marine. Roger on the other hand left 
and said he would stay a pirate. But this time he will be his own kind of pirate, not like rocks. He found Rayleigh and started his own crew. This was around 55 years ago just around the time when the ship that escaped Wayno ended up in the East Blue to form the Frost Moon Village. This is where Roger got his straw hat that would pass to Shanks that would pass to Luffy. There's been moments where he drops some weird wording. Now Mayor Whoop's lap tells Luffy that his village doesn't need any more idiots. Who's the other idiot? He follows this up with telling Luffy not to be a pirate so idiot equals pirate. Luffy and Ace were the only PPL from that island that became pirates but one. This is before he met Ace and two. Ace isn't from that village, so he must be alluding to Garp and Rocks. Two people from that village who did become pirates and gave the village a bad name. When Luffy got his bounty, Makino said oh isn't it good that Luffy is finally living his dream. The mayor says his dream or his destiny. Part 2. Dragon. The next part is about Dragon being Rock's son. So we covered the Brazilian stuff and explaining how Roche was the inspiration for Rocks. First thing first while we never saw Rock's face we know the general outline if you look at it. He looks identical to Dragon same jawline, facial shape long hair. Next comes the age. Dragon was born when Garp was 23 and lived in the Goa kingdom now. As said Garp became a marine at 22. So the timeline can fit. But I don't know. It's possible Dragon's mother was also part of the first generation of rocks. And she felt the same as Garp and wanted to leave that life and Garp being Garp took her and brought her to Goa Kingdom and allowed her to live there. Maybe a part of Garp becoming a marine was to also buy her safety, or it's possible Rox just returned home while Garp wasn't around and dropped the woman off. I find his name to be odd, he's named Dragon, and that seems like a reference to the gods as Dragon considered gods. It's like Rox had high hopes for his son, at some point in the future Rox came home and took Dragon back with him, with the intent of making him his new member. The idea was they were going to attack God Valley to get Kaido's fruit, only it was meant for Dragon not Kaido. Dragon, not agreeing with his father's methods managed to get word out to Garp, who along with Roger, showed up to challenge Rox for the final time. At which point Dragon returned home. He would meet Garp's daughter, and they would marry and Luffy would be born. Dragon saw the injustice of the world and organized a revolutionary party, where they aimed at peaceful means of making life better. But the world government went after him and the wife was hurt, and that's when he became a revolutionary and started an army. He took his wife's name as is tradition in Japan under certain circumstances and became Monkey D. Dragon. In Chinese horoscopes it's said that people born in the year of the monkey and people born in the year of the dragon are destined to be lovers, they are compatible, the monkey is male, but the dragon is female, and that's important for the third part of this theory, so keep that in mind. Now Blackbeard. Blackbeard found out where Dragon lived and sent his full armada after Dragon, which is weird, like why would he go through such extent to go after Dragon who wasn't a pirate or anything. It's because Blackbeard is a follower of Zebek his fanboy and he knows Dragon betrayed him and wants revenge. But there's more. Dragon has a brother or at least a half-brother. The brother isn't important to Rox. He's not as air like Dragon was supposed to be. But these are my candidates Blackbeard. Blackbeard would have been too at God Valley. And we all know Blackbeard is a fan of Rox. Because he named his ship after him. So either he's just a fan or he's the son. Next is Buggy. When Roger was holding baby Hiori. He said oh. It's been a long time since I held a baby in my arms like this. So we know there was once a baby on the ship. Odin kept referring to Shanks and Buggy as first brother. 
and the second brother which pissed angered him. Buggy could very well be Luffy's uncle. The final option is Shanks first off the same rules for Buggy. God Valley, Roger holding a baby, but Odin calling him the first brother doesn't add up, but if you look at Shanks he does kind of look like Luffy. Luffy at 60 looks like Garp which confirms Garp is a biological grandfather, but at 40, he does kind of look like Shanks. But here's the real kicker, Shanks is working with Dragon, don't you think it's suspicious he showed up at the reverie at the exact same time as Sabo? The idea is he was there to talk about Blackbeard, Luffy or Buggy. Luffy would make him more suspect, and Blackbeard is kind of obvious. But Buggy would kind of explain why he's a Yonko, like if Shanks walked in and hyped Buggy up, that might have helped with him becoming a Yonko. But why would he do that? So he could have an excuse to be there. Like how Boa wanted to see Ace just so she could sneak Luffy into Impel Down. But here is my argument. Both of them were at Roger's execution. Now one thing we know is that Shanks got his iconic scars from Blackbeard however Shanks didn't get them in the fight in the Odin flashback. So when did he get them like did Shanks challenge Whitebeard one day as an adult and Blackbeard was able to do that and no one on Whitebeard crew noticed. Nah. My guess is for whatever reason Blackbeard was able to get away from Whitebeard for a while and showed up at the execution. He saw Shanks and Buggy arguing and followed Shanks. There when Shanks was getting on his boat to sail off Blackbeard jumped out and managed to cut him, but before he got a kill shot in, Dragon showed up and chased Blackbeard off which might go into Blackbeard Vendetta, and why he went after the Revolutioner army so hard. Dragon tended to Shanks, and the two bonded and became friends. Now I said they could be brothers, but that doesn't necessarily mean they have a bond anyway. Shanks was like 14 at the time so again. Let's assume he didn't become a pirate till he was 17, that's three years Shanks would have needed to settle down, in those three years Dragon helped Shanks out, it was through Dragon where Shanks met Ben Beckman. Beckman is the smartest man from the East, even though he's not from the East Blue, and he's 50 which is actually closer to age to Dragon. When Ace met the crew and left Beckman said Ace seemed more of a revolutionary than a pirate. So maybe that was the revolutionary in Beckman. Now, this is the odd thing, I believe Shanks was in the Goa Kingdom to find Ace, to give him the Gomu Gomu fruit. I find it very odd that at no point was it shown Luffy was near any pirate chest. It was a chest on the table possibly where Beckman was sitting. Beckman is the only red hair of importance not shown reacting to the fact Luffy ate the fruit. Shanks, Yasip and Rue, who besides Beckman, were the only people in the crew we knew the names of at the time were freaking out. But we don't see Beckman, Beckman being the genius he is probably figured Luffy was Dragon's son, and saw Luffy wandering around the Gomu fruit, and instead of stopping Luffy, he decided to play a game and let fate decide what to do. He saw Luffy as a good candidate, and didn't really agree that Roger's son should be Joy Boy, so he just let Luffy take the fruit. He let fate decide. So Shanks is not a revolutioner, but he's involved with them working towards the same goal, and in a way this also mirrors Garp and Roger's relationship, only this time this generation is working together. Shanks needed an excuse to get into the reverie and threw Buggy under the bus, and he did something that benefited Sabo in some sense. Now finally back to Dragon, Luffy is somewhat based off of the Monkey King's son Wukong, and the interesting thing about him is that he was a monkey born from a rock. Luffy is a monkey garp born from a rock, rocks, shanks. Part of this theory I can understand is more of a stretch, but I do believe Dragon is Rock's son. I don't know if Shanks is involved, 
but it would be fun, back to Blackbeard, again it doesn't make sense for him to attack Shanks during a fight with Whitebeard crew, and no one noticed, so the best way to attack would be the execution, Blackbeard is an opportunist, and this would be the best time to attack Shanks. Dragon hearing the commotion jumps in and chases Blackbeard off. Blackbeard then holds this against him, which was the motive for them to attack Baltigo. Part 3. The Daughters of Garp and Akainu. The next part is Garp's daughters and Akainu so if Dragon is the son of rocks and married into the monkey family, who is the wife and mother of Luffy, in an interview. Odo once said the reason the mother isn't around is because if she was Luffy wouldn't be a pirate. She was a very strict and rough woman who would constantly try and stop Luffy having adventures as a child. This sounds a lot like Dayton, but it also sounds like a female Garp. Garp was a strict and rough looking man who tried to tame Luffy. We now remember what we said about the Chinese Zodiac. In the Zodiac, the monkey is male, and the dragon is female. There is a proverb in China. It tells the story of a king who had four servants. A dragon, a dog, a bird and a monkey. The dragon saw how corrupt the king was and rebelled and tried to convince the other three to join him. The dog was loyal to the king and grew angry when asked to betray him. The bird didn't care and chose to stay because he was comfortable there and didn't want to get involved. The monkey was too stupid to understand and stayed as well because that's just where he knew he was supposed to be. Red dog, yellow monkey and blue pheasant. Now for this is why people think Dragon was an admiral. I mean it makes sense, except that it doesn't. For years the only thing people knew about Dragon was his goal, his face and his individual name. It wasn't until Marineford when it was announced he was Monkey D. Dragon son of Garp and father of Luffy, not enough time would have passed for the marines to have forgotten this. They would have seen his face and said hey isn't that the former Admiral Dragon? So back to the horoscope, in the horoscope the monkey is male, and the dragon is more female, and are destined lovers. Dragon is the monkey because he became a monkey and the mother is the dragon as that was her epithet. She was the orange dragon, why orange, because the admirals are based off of the color pattern, the original three are based off of the primary colors, red, blue and yellow then it's the secondary colors, purple, green and orange, from there it spreads out more, we have green bull, and we have Fujitora who is purple tiger, we are missing an orange now, when you get all primary colors combined that makes white. But I believe Smoker will be the white admiral as he's called the white chase. And he's kind of the combination of all three admirals. But that's another theory. The mother can't be white dragon. Because white dragon translates to Shiryu. Which is taken by a blackbeard crewmate. So that would be a little confusing. So it's possible she was orange dragon. Red Dog is a Kai Inu. Orange Dragon is Dairyu as Dai Dai is Orange, and Ryo is Dragon. Now a Kainu. His real name is Sakazuki, and his name refers to the Sakazuki Cup. It's a reference to the ritual of forming an unbreakable bond, like what Luffy Ace and Sabo did. There there's this image. Look at his tattoo on his right arm. It's a sword. In writing there is no accidents, everything is there for a reason. The bigger tattoo purpose was one, make him stand out more and to kind of showcase his power. The tattoo looks very Hawaiian, which is famous for its volcanoes, so why is there a sword tattoo? There is a group of marines known as sword, who seem to be secretive and anti-celestial dragon. The only members we know of are Kobe and Drake both of which seem like people a Kainu wouldn't like. So is a Kainu in sword, while I can see him being against the celestial dragons, I can't see him working with Kobe and Drake. So why are they all connected to sword? Because a Kainu is part of another sword group, Garp doesn't hold the same epithet scheme as the other marines, they follow a color and an animal, a zodiac animal to be precise.
these were two fan-made characters that Oda included in the manga, who he said were considered for admiral roles, but just didn't make it, the guy is brown bear, and the woman is preach rabid, in the latest chapter minor spoiler we met another animal called Black Horse Singoku is half of this theme, he's golden Buddha, but Buddha isn't a zodiac, but Garp he's known as Garp the Fist of the Marines, and Garp the Hero in Garp's right hand, who we don't see much of anymore is Boggard, he's essentially his Toshigi, if you will he's a swordsman, and it's hard to pinpoint his age, he could be 40-70, I believe Dai Dai was a swordswoman, now she wasn't a specialist in it like Zoro and Hawkeye, she wasn't aiming for it that she just used a sword, she was also known as the Sword of the Marines. After what happened to her Garp created sword and named it after her code name, she is the motivator for Garp, and Dragon Akainu holds a special hatred for Luffy, because he's Dragon's kid, he kept referring to him as Son of Dragon instead of Straw Hat, and kept referring to Ace as Fire Fist instead of son of Roger. He even jumped over Ace who he was fighting to attack Luffy who fell over. All this shows a more personal hatred. He hates Luffy because he's the son of Dragon, but wants to kill Ace, because it's his obligation to kill Ace. So again did he and Dragon used to be friends, then Dragon betrayed him. But again Dragon wasn't a marine dire you was a Kanu friend, and possibly love interest. If you read Harry Potter, you know where I'm going, Snape was in love with Harry Potter's mother before she died, but she fell in love with James Potter Harry's father and Snape's bully, and for the majority of the series he took his frustrations out on Harry, their son. Akainu bonded with Dairyu hence his name she didn't return the feelings and fell in love with Dragon, Dragon was very outspoken about the government, and she fell in with him and backed him. Going back to the Chinese proverb of the dragon, seeing the corruption of the king, this led to the celestial dragons going after her and him, something bad happened that means she's not in the picture no more, and the four people affected most by this were Akainu, Dragon and Garp, four, well we will get to that, Garp said enough was enough, for years he hated the celestial dragons because of what they were, but he just found them to be annoying bricks, then an actual thread, and now it was enough, and he Sengoku and Suru created sword with Suru being the secreted leader, since Sengoku was busy being a fleet admiral, and Garp is an idiot who doesn't have patience for paperwork and is terrible at keeping secrets. Plus her deal is she cleans things. She's the cleaner, and she's going to clean out the government of the corrupt. Dragon went into a rage, but calmed himself he still had his son, a son who would grow up without a mother in a world where he can never truly be free. Dragon looked at his son and gave him to the man he saw as a father, and said he was leaving. The government won't listen to reason so he will make them listen in order to create a better world for his son he had to go and fight. Dragon was in Loudgetown to meet Luffy I believe maybe it was just to see him or recruit him, I mean hey he was a pirate, so him living a normal life was out the window, and he was old enough to decide for himself, but then he heard Luffy shout about being king of the pirates. When Luffy was sailing off Dragon said, king of the pirates eh? I suppose that sounds good then. When Luffy got a bounty after destroying Eni's lobby, Dragon pushed it aside and just walked outside, and as soon as he was alone started smiling and shouted be free Luffy, don't let the world chain you down the day we meet will be soon. When his identity was exposed, he said don't worry, my reasoning for hiding who I really am is gone so it doesn't matter my people see me as less of a monster now, as well. Dragon whole thing was protecting Luffy, and letting Luffy be free. But I'm getting sidetracked Akainu grew angry, but not at the people who deserved it, but at Dragon, for causing it to happen which went down to Luffy. So that's the dire you part done now the fourth person who was affected the other daughter Garp, 
had another daughter born a good few years later, and her name was Monkey D. Betty. Betty is 34. So she's 21 years younger than Dragon. So I place Dai Dai to be somewhere between that age gap. Now why her well she kind of looks like a female Luffy. Like she has the facial structure and a similar fashion sense as Luffy. Red and open shirt, but her personality is very garb and Luffy like all three of them are very direct people who don't like weak people. Luffy told Kobe he was worthless and hated him when they met because Kobe was too afraid to leave Abide or whatever her name is, he told Shirahashi he didn't like her, because she was a crybaby named her Weepahashi. When he meets people, he finds cowardly and cries a lot. He just laughs in their faces and calls them out. Which shows us it isn't a real coward, because Luffy never once does that with him. Garp is very direct. He tells the king of Goa Sabo's fake brother that he was annoying and essentially called the celestial dragons. Betty, when saving a village from pirates, called the citizens trash. They were trash for not fighting back. All three of them have another quirk they inspire people. Luffy is constantly being said to be a guy who gains followers. Garp is the freaking hero of the marines and Betty was able to convince the citizens to take up arms, then because of her devil fruit, they gained a power boost. Now more besides kind of vaguely looking like Luffy and having similar quirks. She is the commander of the eastern forces, as in the east blue where Luffy and Garp are from her name Bello is Portuguese for beautiful, so her name is beautiful Betty, and we established Goa, and the monkey family are Brazilian where they speak Portuguese, Dragon is Cuban, which is close, but not close enough, Betty is the baby daughter of Garp, the sister is Didai, sister-in-law of Dragon, and aunt of Luffy so in summary Luffy family could consist of Kong, his great-grandfather great-uncle, or some kind of cousin, Garp maternal grandfather Rock's paternal grandfather, Shanks buggy and her blackbeard as his paternal uncle, Bello Betty maternal aunt dragon father, Admiral Dai Dai mother, Dayton adopted mother, Ace and Sabo brothers. Now the final part. How the D works into this. We met a few D clan people over the years, but only one person who had a confirmed D from both sides of the family tree. Ace Ace son of Portgas D Rouge, and Gold D Roger Ace, the man Roger left with his greatest rival after rocks. Garp Ace the child who's named after Roger's own freaking sword, when he found the One Piece Roger said his son would find the One Piece in time, and Rayleigh said he didn't have a son, Roger said, but I will, he then left his crew, and met Rouge got her pregnant and turned himself in, so he could ask Garp his brother to take care of his son, years later Shanks just showed up and lived on Goa for a year as his base got the fruit, and left after Luffy ate it, that's not coincidental, why would a dying man leave to have a son, why name him after a freaking sword, why give him to Garp, bits to create the next joy boy, whatever was said on Laugh Tale, must have confirmed two things, joy boy ate the Nika fruit, and was a O clan, what's an O it's when you put two D back to back creating an O, the O represents the moon and her son, the next Joy Boy would be a child born to 2D clan members. Roger before he left gave Shanks the mission to find his son Odin noticed them talking and Shanks breaking down into tears, he left to find Rouge who he met a few years prior knocked her up, then turned himself in as a means to getting close to Garp. He had Ace named Gold D Ace and told Shanks to go to Garp's hometown and look for a boy named Ace. When it was time to find the Nika fruit Garp not agreeing to such a cruel plan to push a child into becoming the savior of the world, took Ace and gave him to Dayton to raise him to be a law-abiding citizen. I don't know if Garp was an idiot or a genius, but he knew the last place a pirate would look for Ace that was adopted by Garp a marine Woody among bandits. Years later Shanks shows up looks around for a year, 
and can't find Ace Beckman figure out who Luffy is, and because Shanks told him the plan he put two and two together and arrived that Luffy was supposed to be Joy Boy not Ace, but he can't force it on Luffy, it has to be fate that calls on him, Luffy had to choose to answer it unlike Ace who was forced into it, he left the chest with the fruit on the table unlocked, and sure enough Luffy wandered over and took the fruit. Shanks freaking out left, so he could figure out what to do next, and came back to Luffy being kidnapped. Shanks decided the same as Beckman that Luffy was the right pick, and Roger was wrong, he decided to wager his arm. He gave his arm as penance for disobeying Roger, gave Luffy his hat that every Roger pirate would recognize as an indicator that Luffy was Joy Boy and that they should help him accept Buggy, who just saw it as Shanks' hat, not Roger's. Luffy is the right choice, because he wasn't born to be Joy Boy. Roger only had Ace so Ace would be Joy Boy. He was not made from love. Luffy was the son of Rocks D. Dragon and Monkey D. Dairyu. They didn't have Luffy, so Luffy would be Joy Boy. Dragon didn't want Luffy to take on the world government if he didn't want to. Dragon loved his wife and she loved him, and Luffy was born naturally. The son of 2D clan parents. Luffy is the only person who could be Joy Boy. Thanks for your attention, congratulations to the theory writer, maybe he's right about the monkey clan, I hope you enjoyed this mega theory, sign up if you like the content and comment telling me what you think, see you guys very soon.